Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all having a great day. Oh, thank you so much for coming to visit me. I feel like I'm all over the place lately, but I have so much that I want to share. You know, I've lived a life of many, many emotions, many, many journeys that I've gone through, many chapters you know, so many levels of things that I, I'd like to share. Um, I did tell you that I would share um, the fibromyalgia story, you know, how I deal with chronic pain, uh, how, what happened when I lost my best friend. Um, I did share, you know, being a, a, a nana or nanny, um, you know, there's just so many levels, you know, and we'll talk a little bit about chronic illness. When people look at me, they don't see an illness. They don't see somebody that looks sick. So they don't believe it, you know, especially if they don't know me. Um, and even if they know me, <laughs> um, I, I, I stopped working, um, August 2016, 2016, right about when my, my daddy passed. One of the last, my father has seen me, his daughter, his baby daughter in pain, in tears, in, in, in pain, excruciating pain. And, you know, he, <laughs> his last words to me, and we didn't know that these were going to be his last words, but he said to me, you, he's wanted me to, to stop working for a long time. He's wanted me to go on disability. And, you know, I'm young. Well, you know, I'm not young, but I'm young to stop working. And I was like, what will I do? You know, I, I can't just sit home and, you know, be that person that feels sorry for myself. I can't do that. Um, you know, he's like, you can do things, you know, find things that you enjoy to do. And he go, and I said, oh, you know what? And, and it took me years. And I finally agreed with him because I, I was going through a lot at work, a lot of stress and a lot of pain, and I was missing a lot of work. And I said, I will, Daddy, I will. And he said, promise me that you won't give up because they're going to deny you at first. And I said, I promise. And that was the last thing I said to my father. And I will follow through. I worked for a company, I, I worked there for 17 years, almost 18 years, and I enjoyed it for a long time. But, you know, when you're, when you are working with, I don't want to call people catty, or when you are working with some people that can be cruel, you know, and that, I don't know, I don't understand the mentality of that, you know, oh, you know, oh, she's not here again. Oh, she's faking. Oh, oh, she's this. Oh, she's that. And, and another thing is, it got back to me. And I don't know which was worse. The people talking about me or the people telling me. Because what good was it to tell me? You know, what kind of... What, what was it going to do me any good? You know what? Let people, you can think and do whatever you want. I know my situation. I am good with what I do. Um, my conscience is clear. You know, if I'm, if I'm not at work and um, it's scheduled day for me, by the way, I did have a um, LOA on file so I could take the days off which was approved through my doctor 
You know, they don't just do that for anybody. Um, bet you she's not going to... I've also found out that they, a couple of them would take bets if I would be there on a certain day. You know, I'm like, wow. You know, <laughs> I guess if that makes you feel better, you know, if it makes you feel better to talk negatively about somebody or, you know, make fun of their illness, um, go for it. Good, good on you. Um, I feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for me. Uh, I feel sorry for you because you must be damn miserable to do that. You know, if you got to put somebody down or make fun of somebody, there's got to be a reason for it. And I feel sorry for you. I'm not angry at you. I was hurt. I'm not going to lie. I'm human. It hurt. Uh, I even cried at work one time. And, oh my gosh, was I mad at myself. Uh, you know, think what you want to think about me. And that's that. And that this one thing that somebody told me was it's none of my opinion, it's none of my business what somebody thinks about me. And I'm like, wow, thank you, thank you. Because that hit me like a lightning bolt. Like, that. you're right. None of my business. You think whatever you want. You know, you're not, you, you're not coming home with me. You're not paying my bills. You're not lying beside me. You're not, you know, you're not important to me. I have friends. I have people who love me. Can you say the same? You know, when, you, when you're that type of person, can you say the same that somebody is really that close to you? You know, you, that person that you're talking to and laughing with, they're probably talking about you too. I mean, is that the person you want to be friends with? I don't. And I've learned, I'm, and I will tell you, it took my mother getting sick for me to realize I had to, um, I left work early to go visit my mother. And before that, we had an, an award thing at work and I got an award for something. And I, I don't remember. And um, so I left right after that and I was, uh, having lunch with my mother <laughs> a co-worker called me and I was like oh it's work you know let's see what this is about I should never have answered it a precious time with my mother um, and she said oh so and so we're talking about you saying that you think you're all that and it really really upset me and I was I spent the time with my mother and I called a friend uh, uh, you know and they said to me first off why, why would that person call you when they knew you were going to spend time with your mother and you know so you got to think subject on that also but because the time that I spend with my I spent with my mother is precious to me it, it was precious to me and you took that away for that short amount of time why 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 did you think that I needed to know that so-and-so was talking about me about something so petty You got to think about that. If you hear somebody talking negatively about somebody, you know, and it's really stupid and petty, and you know it's going to hurt the person to tell them, 
first of all, why don't you speak up and say something? Why? That's, that's the thing that I never understood. If, if you're my friend, why don't you stick up for me? Why'd you keep quiet? You know, somebody's going to sit there and talk about somebody I care about or I'm friendly with. I'm going to say something. Why are you doing that? What do you, what are you getting out of it? You know, what, what possibly could you be gaining from this? All right, guys, I got to go. <laughs> you, I, I wanted to just, uh, you know, share a little bit more of me, I guess. And uh, you have a great day. Remember to get out there and share that beautiful smile of yours because God did give it to us for a reason. It's because it's beautiful and it's meant to be shared. These are the things that we should be sharing. Mwah. Love you.